Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to study compare instruction of 8086 microprocessor in Assembly language. For compare statement, uh, we have a keyword CMP. CMP stands for what compare? And then we have two operand, destination and source. Basically, uh, you can't say that these are destination or source, but it's a general format, so I'm following it. Uh, but what is going to be happen in this instruction? This instruction is going to compare the operand A with operand B or operand D with operand S, right? And on the back end of the instruction, what is going to happen? A subtraction operation will be performed. That means there will be subtraction, uh, D minus S operation will be performed. That means S operand will be subtracted from D operand. Okay, uh, but this subtraction will be happening in the backhand procedure. There won't be any effect on D or S operand, right? They will remain same. But since we are applying the subtraction operand in the backhand, so there will be number of flag register which will get affected. And on, based upon those flags, which are which have been affected we can actually get, get an idea that whether the first number was larger compared to the second number or first number was smaller compared to the second number or they are equal there are multiple conditional jump statement like jg jump if greater than or you can say jump ja jump if above JL for jump larger and so on, right? So there are so many uh, conditional jumps available which can be used after this compare statement since subtraction on the backhand procedure is already done, right? So we're gonna test some program uh, to verify our uh, compare statement in 8086 environment or EMU8086 simulator. So this is the code I've written for it. So what I'm doing, move AX comma one, two, three, four, five. That means AX will be loaded with a value one, two, three, four, five, right? Then I'm putting a value in BX, which is one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four is a smaller value and one, two, three, five is basically larger value. That means AX is having a larger value compared to uh, uh, BX or he has a, a greater value, right? Then what I'm doing, I'm comparing the two numbers, compare AX comma BX by comparing AX register and BX register. Okay, then I'm using a conditional check, which is JG. JG means jump if greater than. And if greater than means if first number was greater than compared to the second number, okay? So then we have to jump to this level. And in this scenario, we know that this is true because AX is one, two, three, four, five, which is larger than or greater than one, two, three, four, which is the value of BX. So we will jump from here to this level. And in this level, we are retaining the value move CX comma AX. Okay, that means AX will be loaded to the CX value. Okay, in case if AX has a smaller value, let's say I'm making it one, two, double, three, three. So what is going to happen? This condition won't be true because one, two, three, three is not greater than compared to one, two, three, four. So this condition won't be true. So we will eventually go to this statement, which is move CX comma BX. So in that case, we are feeding the value of BX in CX and halt. Halt means we are going to stop the main program. So in both cases, whether this condition is going to be true or false, we are saving the larger number into CX register. This is the function of the code, right? So we are saving the last uh, larger number into the uh, CX register. And this is the function or this is the purpose for which this code is written. So let's test this code. Uh, we are using compare statement in this code. So right now a AX value is one, two, three, three and BX value is one, two, three, four and larger value should go into CX register. So I'm going to run it in one go. I'm going to press run button. Okay. This is halted and see. 1, 2, 3, 3 is in X, BX is 1, 2, 3, 4, and larger value was BX, which is loaded in CX register. Similarly, if I'm going to change something, let's say BX value is uh, has become 1, 2, 2, 0, which is definitely smaller than AX now, and I'm gonna uh, run this code again. So this time AX value should be moved in CX register. Let's test this code again. I emulated it, okay, and I'm gonna run it. So hopefully you can see that AX value is one, two, three, three, and BX is one, two, two, zero, and CX having the value of AX, which is a larger. Similarly, you can check multiple various kinds of checks using this compare statement uh, and with the conditional uh, for, uh, jumps along with them. 
uh, I hope you have understand this compare statement. Still, if you have any confusion or queries, you can post your queries and confusion in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.